had a breakthrough. That's me breaking through. Yep, that's me breaking through. Yep. I don't want an ally. I want an accomplice. What, where, and why, how, who, what, where, and why, how. Yep, that's the strategy you do with kids. You say like, who, what, where, when, why, how. So who am I, this super brave teacher? What do I do? I spark bravery. I encourage dialogue so that we can make it better today. Dialogue and action. Who, what, where, Minneapolis, Minnesota, hello. When, right now, 2017, October, don't know the date. Where, when, why, because we need to spark bravery. We need to tip Google, YouTube, and a radically positive and accepting way for all LGBTQ teachers and students. And every time you click like, so thank you, click like, click it, click it. Every time you subscribe to this channel, click it, click it. We send a message to YouTube and Google that we matter. And we start shifting the narrative so that when you type in gay teacher, lesbian teacher, transgender teacher, anything like that, you see these awesome positive stories. So who, what, where, when, why, Thanks for doing this for me, Joel Karlewski, the super brave teacher. Back to the show. And the coffee's kicking in, got that? Yep, check, check. Hey, friends. Friends. This week I was listening to the Girl Boss Podcast. I love feminist podcasts, I love the Girl Boss Podcast, I love everything women, yay you. Women are awesome, they just inspire me to be my best self, so yes. And she was interviewing Jennifer Rudolph Walsh, who is a rock star woman, Go to Girl Boss podcast, listen to the podcast. She's gonna do a lot more justice. And the whole time I'm listening to it, I keep pausing it and I'm like, Siri, write this down. Siri, put this in my reminders, Siri. And one of the things she said towards the end of the podcast was, I don't want allies anymore. I want accomplices. And it just hit my core in like the deepest primal way because I realized that I do too. I, once again, looked up, what does it mean to be an ally? And it says, a person that is associated with another with a, with a common cause or purpose. A person, group or nation that is associated with another or others for some common cause. Sounds pretty general to me. And it's like, oh, we like world peace. We're allies. And it's to me, this is my opinion, my opinion, my opinion, my opinion. That's all fine and dandy, and I get the purpose of allies, but guess what? I'm not a country, you're not a country, and I think we can do better than just being allies. And I realize the irony, because if you look on the description below, it says, I am the super brave teacher with lots of super brave teacher friends and allies. So even myself, this is a growth moment for me. Growth moment! Yes. But when I look up the word accomplice, it, it speaks truth, it like brings this guttural joy to me because it says a person who knowingly helps another in a wrongdoing. <laughs> so you might think right away, as I did when I read that dictionary definition because I was like hoping for something even better, but when I hear the word <laughs> accomplice, I am thinking someone who knowingly sees me, who knowingly values me, who knowingly loves me and says, where do I sign up? I wanna be in the trenches with you, Joel. I wanna be there for you, even if others consider it wrongdoing. I gave that beautiful example of a few weekends ago when I did the 10 mile race and having our friends collectively run with us and say, you know what? Some people consider this wrongdoing and I'm gonna run with you, I'm gonna be in the trenches with you. Or Joel, you know what? I'm gonna get a t-shirt that says, I support LGBTQ plus teachers and students, and I'm gonna have my kids wear it to school, I'm gonna wear it myself to the gym or outside, and I'm gonna share this channel with others. Even though I know there's a collective group of people who think that this is wrong and shouldn't be out there. So when I hear the word ally, I think that's great. I do want allies and I'd much rather have an ally than an enemy. So if you're my ally, thank you. And, I always have those like dramatic ands in these videos, and I would really, really, really like some accomplices. 
And I think that that has been the beautiful struggle of being back in Minneapolis is figuring out who can I be a accomplice for and who wants to be accomplices with me, with us. And I think that's a beautiful struggle of adulthood is realizing that I have plenty of friends. I have plenty of allies. What I need for myself are people who say, Joel, I want to be your accomplice. And I would love for you to be mine. I would love for you to be in the trenches with me, share community and communion with me, and I would love to be that person for you. So that's where I'm at, and I love it. I love that idea because it's like I'm putting a, like something in the sand, and I'm just saying, I'm not saying you're either this or this, I'm saying, let's all be accomplices together, right? So, and when I was talking about this, I wasn't saying like, I'm drawing a line in the sand, I'm saying like, this is my value. I value accomplices. So now, like, you can't, you can't push me down, because this is what I value. I value people in the trenches, and I value being in the trench with you. So I just wanted to make this video to share that teacher tip of the week, gay teacher tip of the week, that we need more accomplices. That I want to be an accomplice for my students. I want to be an accomplice for my families. I want to be an accomplice for my husband. I want to be an accomplice for people in my life so that they know that I'm in the trenches with them. And that's my good hard work of doing. It is not easy. And I'm sure I've been much an ally to people instead of an accomplice. So I'm gonna hold myself accountable to that. And I wanna hold you accountable to that too. That's why we're here, to be accomplices together. Join the movement. Woohoo! Woo oh, son, son, hi. Ooh, ooh. Join the movement with me. Thank you for clicking like. Thank you for clicking share. What, what's on your heart these days? Leave a comment below. What are you an accomplice of? Like, what is your movement that you want someone to be in the trenches with you? Know right now that if you are if you are feeling that you have a lot of allies and instead of accomplices, you're not alone. You're not alone. I am your accomplice. I will continue to be your accomplice. I will continue to fight for LGBTQ plus visibility and equality for the rest of my life. So I'm in the trenches with you. Thanks for being in the trenches with me. Sending you the biggest, biggest super brave teacher hug ever. You are appreciated. You are valued. You are loved. Just for being you. And I'm also gonna add at the end, I am appreciated, I am valued, I am loved, just for being me. And you can see it's hard for me to say that. So I'll end with that. I love you, friends.